So the other day, I actually went to a career fair, and um, I was trying to think of um, what kind of makeup I should do. I know I should do something more on the toned down side, because um, this is for job interviews, and so I want to make a good impression, and obviously they're corporate America type jobs, so um, I can't be wearing my lime green eyeshadow to interviews. So anyway, I decided to use one of the looks that um, I did in the past a lot of you actually requested for it it's the more natural look I have on my um, slideshow I'll go ahead and um, insert a picture of it so you can see um, the only difference is that I uh, for the lid um, I did not use this this is I hope you can see it's like a yellow highlighter kind of a goldish light highlighter if you can see that so enjoy the look and um, hopefully those who wanted to see that tutorial for that natural look check this video out because here is your tutorial. For the highlight I'm using Blanc Type. It looks like this. That kind of color. Um, it's a little lighter than Brulee which we're also using. You won't be able to tell here but yeah I just take my word for it. This is for the highlight. And I'm gonna um, pat that on with a 252. That. And then blend. And then bring that all the way down to uh, bring the color down all the way to basically um, the crease line. Just like that. For the crease, we're using soft brown. Um, you're gonna notice I, I use this in a lot of looks. Soft brown. It's one of my favorite eyeshadows to use. It just, I don't know, it feels like it completes the look. But again, we're using this um, right above the crease line with a blending brush. I'm just using a 217. You can use whatever you want though. I'm using a flat brush, shader brush with the brulee. Like I said, this is a little um, not as uh, light as the blonde type, but if you only have one, that's fine. But I'm using this for the lid color. Obviously, I'm NC40. If you're um, darker um, for the crease, maybe you want to use um, texture, maybe if you don't like soft brown. Um, and if you're lighter than me and you don't like soft brown, you can use, I think Kid is a little lighter too. So, then what I'm doing is getting my tapered blending brush. Where the fuck is my oh. My tapered blending brush, uh, 226. And I'm using Sketch. This color right here. Can you see that? It's like a purpley color. I'm just dabbing that in. I'm gonna work this into the crease. Start right above the crease line, little circles, then start to bring it out. Or in, whatever you, whatever. <laughs> see, just like that. And you're gonna see it's, um, it's not gonna be touching the brulee at all. And start blending it out, windshield wiper motion, circles, whatever works for you. Once you got the um, main kind of crease in there, I'll just take this and then start blending it up into the soft brown. You could also use your other brush, which I'll do after this, the 217 that you put the soft brown with. And just go over this just to blend it even more. So again, 217. I won't put any more soft brown on it, and just, or for now, anyways, and just blend it. And I'll also blend it a little bit right here. And what I actually want to do is um, add a little soft brown right there too. Just add a little color like that. And then again, go over the sketch. Okay, I just added a thin layer of um, liquid liner 
up top and then I lined it a little bit here with black liner also. Um, you could stop there um, and that is a really good look for the day and if it's a little too plain for you, you know, um, you could add more sketch and you can also um, add a bit of carbon onto that. That's what I did with this eye. I added, um, with a 231 I added um, some carbon right here and then I actually brought down the liner so I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. So I'll just get a little more sketch and work it into the crease and get that a little darker just like so. Then don't forget to blend up after you've um, mainly deposited all the color into the crease then blend up like that. Alright. Sorry about the dogs barking. The doorbell rang and my dog Izzy loves to bark at people. <laughs> but anyways, alright. Uh, taking the pencil that I lined this with, I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. Like so, making it thicker. Taking the 231 and I'm going to smudge it. Oh my god, all these sounds are going on. What a bad time to do a tutorial. So go ahead and just smudge it, bring it down. I'll extend it a little bit here. Like so. And if you have a kind of like a harsh line from your eyeliner to, um, you know, your uh, skin, um, what I do is take a small brush, this is 228, any kind of brush, and lightly tap into the soft brown or a color, the eyeshadow that you're using that kind of blends in with your skin tone. And I kind of pat it on right here along the borderline, and I'll just blend it. And I'll cr it creates a little, uh, little bit of a softer look. So you won't have that harsh line. Okay. And then for the top, I'm dipping the 231, like I said, into the carbon. Just lightly tap it. And I'm going to trace along. You can see where the sketch is. And with the brulee, I'll just lightly um, do short strokes a little bit. Like that. And then just go along this line. Again, this is just for the people who want it a little darker. But if you um, want it more natural, just go ahead and just skip all this that I'm doing right now. And then I'll take the brush that I used for sketch and just blendy, blendy, blendy. And that is basically it. And then for the lips, where is my bunny pink? Oh, here it is. I'm using bunny pink TLC. It's like this baby doll kind of pink when you put it on the lips. Just something, you want to use something light. Not too much color. A good thing to use is maybe like a new lip gloss. Bare Slim Shine is good. But for this I'm just going to a little pink. Um, and yeah, that is the look. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye.